The Maryland Terrapins dropped their eighth straight game on Saturday, falling to Indiana 47-28, despite starting with a 21-3 lead. Brandon Ross got things started for the Terps with a 79-yard touchdown. He also scored a 75-yard touchdown later in the third quarter. Ross had 250 yards and three touchdowns on this senior day, both of which were career highs for him. Brandon Ross said after the game he had a bit more excitement in his play because it was senior day. Being in my last game, I definitely wanted to go out strong. So, you know, I really just wanted to make sure, you know, I got my a good amount of rest at night and I was ready to go. Caleb Rowe started for the Terps as quarterback today, a surprise start for him as Perry Hills was ruled out with mono today. Caleb Rowe did not throw an interception today, which he leads all the nation with 15 interceptions for them, partially because he was ruled out at halftime due to a concussion. Caleb Rowe was hit in the head during late in the second quarter, returned, and then was hit in the head again. Like Loxley has more to say on Caleb Rowe's condition. Caleb uh, has a concussion, and he's going to start going through our uh, concussion protocol. You know, to, to play somewhere in the middle to the end of the second quarter. And uh, when we went in at halftime, it was ruled out. You know, we started uh, as a staff, we began to prepare a plan for, for Shane. Shane Cockerell, the fullback turned quarterback, started as quarterback for the Terps in the third quarter, in which he completed his first career pass, among with many others. Unfortunately, he was unable to score a touchdown and led the Terps to many three and out drives. Shane was our uh, backup quarterback going into the game, so he had taken reps all week as the backup quarterback due to Perry having mono, so it wasn't as if he didn't uh, get a game plan or was prepared to play. We always knew what our players are capable of executing, and you know, we come up with plans to try to execute it, and that's what we tried to do with Shane in the second half. In positive news, Yannick Ngakwe became the Terps single season record holder for sacks with 13.5. Ngakwe sacked Indiana quarterback Nate Sudfeld late in the first quarter. Next week, the Terps travel to Rutgers where they will face off against the Scarlet Knights. WMUC will have the call for you then. The Terps fall once again to Indiana 47-28 to and become 2-9 and on the season overall and are winless in the Big Ten. For WMUC Sports at Capital One Field at Bird Stadium, I'm Megan Smedley.